All right, everyone. Chapter 15, PowerShell Profiles. So what is a PowerShell Profile? PowerShell Profile is a profile that will load variables, run scripts, run functions, things to make your life easier in PowerShell, just making your life easier in PowerShell and um, customizing it the way you want. All right? So let's get started. So in order to make a profile, we'll do new item, item type, file, profile. So let's copy and paste that, stick it in our editor, run that command, and we've got a profile. Now by default, um, usually, or um, typically, you would not have a file, you know, a, a file that's already been created. It's usually empty. So now that we made a profile, uh, if we go to this folder here, we'll do a notepad, uh, we'll reference this path with that file name. And this file name will be different if you're using the PowerShell IC editor or VS Code. Just always just check your profile path by doing this, just dollar sign profile, okay? So let's run that, we get notepad and it's completely blank, okay? So we're gonna continue to follow on the guide and just see what the guide says, so. Uh, if you're an ISE, you can just do PS edit profile and kind of like notepad, just PS edit profile to open up within the editor. An easy way to get started with your personal profile for the current host is to save some text for the path stored in the profile variable. So let's do this. Let's copy this. Let's uh, close our notepad. We're gonna take that string, we're gonna run it. What do you think will happen? It's gonna take this text right here and then it's going to stick it into the file, okay? To double check, let's go to notepad, profile, run it, and there we go. So here's what you can do. You can just put some string into there and say, um, um, we'll, we'll hold off, we'll hold off let's, before we start customizing. Let's see here, profile format list four. So another thing is you can access the profiles for you know stored inside. If you don't have a custom profile, then maybe you can access the other profiles and edit those to have global profiles you know, for that machine. So that will be profile format list dash force, and you can edit these particular files and you know set those uh, configurations. Okay, but for this example and tutorial, we're just going to work on our custom profile for our user. And I think that's it for the. Uh, I think that's it for the guide. So let's let's have some practical scenarios that we can apply using this concept. So here's some things you can do with your profile. So um, I want to modify the editor. I don't prefer Notepad. I prefer Notepad++. So I'm going to change the location to that uh, directory. So let's get that directory real quick. Let's see if I can do program files uh, Notepad++. Notepad.exe. I think that's the that's the path. So I'm just gonna use it, and then we're gonna do set. Uh, let me get another one. Set alias um, Notepad, and then we'll specify the path. Let's see if that works. I think I typed it right. Notepad um, profile. All right, so now we have it in our Notepad editor or Notepad plus plus editor. Cool. So I didn't actually put this in my profile, so let's actually print out the profile real quick. Um, uh, actually, let's see. Let's do Notepad profile again. I have to save this, right? So it's not saved, so I gotta put it in here, right? So you can do, we can take that command uh, that we just made, um, set alias notepad, so now we can save it as a configuration, right? And we just copy that and, oops, I don't think it, I don't actually think it copied. Let me run it back. Let me save it actually. And then we're gonna 
I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on the trash icon, and I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to reopen the session, which now will always work. Okay, does that make sense? You have to save it in your profile to, you know, to continue using it. If I just set it right here and I just run this command, then it won't. It will only work for that session, and then it'll stop working. So if you want to have custom configurations for your profile, be sure it's saved in that profile file. Okay. Um, let's do another example. Let's do uh, importing the modules. So importing modules. Well, we, let's do import module. Uh, Mandalorian, right? That was a module we made in the prior chapter, and we're going to import it. Okay, so maybe you want to import some modules you made that you want to use to make your PowerShell coding life easier, right? So we're going to import module Mandalorian. Now, here's the thing. If you look at the prior example, you can actually take this command and actually inject it into profile. Do not do one directional arrow. This will replace the file. Okay, so let me show you an example. If you run it like this, you've literally replaced the file. And then if we do notepad profile, watch what happens. It's gone. The set alias we did before is gone. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to do an extra caret. Okay, this will this will this will means append. So one means uh, one means, you know, replace, and then if you add another arrow, that just means append, okay? So now let's do the same thing for set alias, and we're going to add it to profile as well. We do it that way. We're going to notepad profile, open it back up, and there we go. It's now been appended. Does that make sense? So one caret is replace, two is append, okay? Let's also um, set our default, um, what I mean by, let's set our default location. So maybe you want to say my default location is the C temp folder, right? There might be a situation where you just want to have a default location all the time. And if that's the case, let's do set location to my script folder, right? Um, in this case, I'll just do a temp folder, okay? Or let's just do, uh, I'm gonna make a directory. Like maybe I have a scripts folder, right? Okay. This might be the folder where all your scripts are that you have access to now or something like that. So we'll do set location, see scripts. Let's put some single quotes around it. Let's put a caret and then profile, okay? So now every time you load your session, you're going to be taken to your scripts folder. Okay? Just like that. And I probably didn't explain it, but I'm just going to tell you again. If you are starting off with single quotes, you end it with single quotes. Then you can put double quotes inside. So if you put single quotes to start it, you put single quotes to end that string. And then you put double quotes inside so it doesn't confuse PowerShell. Because if you put a single quote, then you've ended that string and then it confuses the profile and then it messes all up. So up here, I start off with uh, double quotes. I'm ending with double quotes, but inside I'm doing single quotes, see? So just remember that. You, if you don't, you might run into issues where like part of the string sent over and not all of it, okay? Um, so we got a location set up. Let's shorten it. Maybe our location is super, super long. Maybe it's in like a really long directory path. So let's shorten it. How do we do that? Okay, you're gonna need a function. This can be function. Um, we're gonna do prompt. And then we're gonna do uh, open and close curly braces. We'll do a p variable equals uh, split path. We want the leaf, we want the last directory. And then we wanna specify the path of Get location. Get location is the same thing as PWD. So get location, PWD is the same thing, okay? So you can do PWD or get location. And then we want to have a prompt and say dollar sign P with a little caret. You'll see what happens. So this will 
be the uh, we're basically replacing the prompt function with our own custom one and we want to paste it over there so um, if you have a multi-line string you can you, know, you just open a profile just stick it there directly right um, you know you stick it here directly and just paste it here or you can do a multi-line string which is something like this this right here will start the multi-line string this will end the multi-line string and then we will copy everything in here okay let me put it in green so we're going to copy everything in green here okay now that we have a multi-line string we're going to say carrot carrot profile let's copy and run this whole string run it go back to our folder and here we go we got that prompt now okay let's close our editor let's reload it and now we've got our prompt but it's not in the path huh. let's see pwd temp folder what did i do wrong function prompt equals oh okay 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 so Hmm. Did you see what I did wrong, guys? Uh, let's think about it. I, I want you to see the error because I made this mistake and I apologize, but it's actually not a bad thing. Let's learn about it. Function prompt. It disappeared. I evaluated. When you do double quotes, it evaluates the variables and then injects it. There's going to be times you want to evaluate, um, you know, something within the string before you inject it. So it's better that I want to do single quotes instead. Okay? Now it won't evaluate the dollar sign p because dollar sign p wasn't there. It um, tried to ev it basically was blank. There was no value. Um, so let me show you again. I want I want to show you again. I want you to understand this because it's very powerful. But you might mess up or f bug out. So. Let's do dollar sign p equals uh, blah. So blah is going to be inserted into here, right? And, in, and and then also into here. So watch what happens when I run this. I think that's right. And we do Notepad profile. See, blah, blah, right? I don't want to evaluate it, so I just want the dollar sign P. So let me just save this. Let me fix it to a single quote. Okay. All right, guys. And now I get the dollar sign P the way I want it, and I'm going to inject it. Notepad profile. Let me reload it. And here we go. We got exactly what we're looking for. Now it's working properly. Okay. Oh, and you know, or you could just, uh, you know, you could just uh, copy and paste it and do it that way. But you know, if you already have your little function and everything already set up, maybe you just want to quickly send it that uh, to that profile. Um, let's reload it. Let's uh, see if it works. All right, so looks like it works, okay? So we're getting the last folder in that directory path. That's what Leaf does, okay? Um, I think the last use case I'm gonna do is uh, set some, we did aliases, what's another use case? Oh, let's uh, record. So there might be times you just wanna record your sessions, and if though, and if that's the case, then you know, let's make a transcribe folder. So let's do make their C temp transcripts, you know, something like that. And we want to transcribe our sessions just so we have a recording and just you know, kind of go through commands, um, things like that. So if that's the case, you also want to do, uh, let's do start transcript. Um, let's specify the path is uh, C. Actually, let me delete these quotes. C temp scripts. I'm sorry, trans transcripts. Yeah. 
and we'll call it uh, transcripts.log. And we want it to append. Because maybe if you open up multiple sessions, you don't want to replace it, so you want to append um, to that log. So we're going to now put the quotes around. We're going to send it over to our profile. And now we're always going to transcribe whenever we have our session. So let's close this, open up our session. We'll do uh, get slogan. We'll do echo test. And let's go to our folder path. Um, sorry, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go to our folder path. Well, actually, no, that won't work. We have to go here. And there we go. Where is it? Um, transcript logs, test. This is the way. See? So it records the instance ID, and it gives you the responses. Um, but yeah. What else? I think that's it, guys. Um, hopefully, this gave you some good examples, some use cases to use in your PowerShell profile. Um, if there's any other questions, feel free to uh, comment. And again, like and subscribe. It lets me know you like this content, and it motivates me to build more content uh, that interests you guys. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and stay safe. Thank you.